Um, man, another another tough one. I mean, that's four games in a row that have you know kind of come down to the to the last possession and. You know, obviously we're putting ourselves in position to, to win these games and we've won one of them and you know we've let three slip away I just you know I don't know what the why but obviously the story of this game I thought the game was lost in the first half um, and we ended up with 18 turnovers tonight I believe it was 12 in the first half um, didn't think we were very strong with the ball um, I thought uncharacteristically we missed a lot of bunnies at the rim and I, I don't I don't know why what was going on there but Missed a lot of layups, um, uncharacteristic turnovers. Um, and I thought in the first half, they owned the paint. I mean, I think they were 11 for 17 from two. You couple that with all the turnovers and the, and the missed opportunities um, where you get the ball taken from us in the lane when I thought we had an advantage. You know, we came out in the second half. We did much better. I thought our defense was very, very good in the second half. Um, we fought back. Um, gave ourselves an opportunity to win, but we dug ourselves such a hole and we just weren't able to get over the line. This is the most frustrating part, like you said, four games that are kind of right there win, and, and you get one of them. Obviously, if it flips the other way, you're looking at kind of a different thing. Yeah, you know, it, it is frustrating, and ultimately you're judged, you know, by the final result, and, and, and uh, you know, you got to find a way to win those games. you got to find a way to make, you know, another play, and you play two halves too. You know, you remember the end of the game, but a lot of times it's those possessions maybe early on in the game where maybe we gave away or we were sloppy. Uh, um, again, I thought we missed a lot of layups, and I thought we had the ball taken from us in the lane several times. Um, and give them credit too. You know, they came out and played scrappy like we knew that that, that they would. And we finally settled down and we came back. And um, I had a feeling this game would come down to the wire. It usually does, um, but disappointing. You know, this game was right here for us, and we weren't able to finish it off. Yeah, I mean, again, I didn't think we did a very good job of, of owning the pain and protecting the pain. I thought that we uh, um, we were too spread out. Um, we were getting beat off the dribble. Um, sometimes, you know, in fairness, it takes guys, you know, you can go with a scout team and all that stuff like that. Sometimes it takes a little while to get into the game to really get a feel for what they're doing. I did think we settled down defensively, and we were pretty good. I thought in the, in the second half, when you look at a team like that, to hold them to 33% in the second half is hard to, is hard to do. So we dug in on that end. And, I thought we did a good job of not showing frustration early in that second half when we had opportunities, opportunities that we couldn't break through, but we kept defending, and finally we did break through. It just, it just wasn't enough. One of the bright spots on defense was, was how you held Maldonado to seven points. Was that, do you feel the same way? Was that a bright spot? That was a bright spot. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to think of too many bright spots, you know, after the, the game today. But, yeah, that was a bright spot. He's a, he's a terrific player and, um, um, and a veteran in this league, and he's a hard guy to defend. We've talked a lot about kind of the, the want to, the effort things. Did you feel that was part of the first half, or is it just execution? I don't know. I, it, it seemed more execution. I mean, again, I just thought, I mean, at one point we turned it over like ten times early, you know, early. And I don't know if that was a want to thing. That was just – kind of sloppy um again I, I that was to me that was the difference in the game was the early on was the turnovers we had an opportunity we'd lose it out of bounds uh lose it in the paint and that we didn't defend the lane well enough in the in, in the first half but i i just thought that was the the biggest difference you kind of said that you don't think you really have an answer but i mean so many missed things and paint did they do really anything you know, to, to affect guys at the rim, you know, special or well, I don't like it. And, you know, Pat, for instance, it seems like he hits his, there are several of those and he hits that real high. I just didn't. I've watched Pat Cartier play now against all these teams yeah. at a high level and he's finishing and it's just one of those nights man it's just one of those nights I thought we had several of them right at the rim heck I mean Isaiah Stevens is one of the best players ever like that he had an opportunity right at the rim too late in the game that didn't go on it was just just one of those one of those nights it's hard to explain they happen you talk about like shooting being contagious can that type of stuff almost be contagious I, so I, get I, a little skittish I think so maybe needed to calm down a little bit those things can compound themselves and you get a little tentative uh, maybe, maybe part of the reason we were losing the ball and the pain as we were in there we had an advantage we were just a little bit tentative we weren't very decisive uh maybe when we got in there i think we were a lot better that way as the game wore down but um disappointing and i don't take away, they, away anything from wyoming i mean they played really really hard and scrapped just like we knew that they that they would but again i i just i'm just i'm, I'm disappointed i thought this game was 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 right there for us and again that's that's uh, three of the last four we haven't found a way to win regardless of the loss tonight they really picked it up in the second what did you tell them during halftime that kind of pushed them to come out and finish the game? Yeah, just 
what I said, I mean, we look at the stat sheet in the first half and we're turning the ball over like crazy, just uncharacteristic. We were really soft, I thought, in the lane offensively. We needed to sure up our defense of owning the paint. Uh, um, and we just needed to calm down a little bit, just kind of calm down, settle down, play a little bit stronger, play with a little bit better pace. And I thought we were able to do that. The guys regrouped and came out, and uh, I thought they played very, very good defense in the second half. Is that what you saw during that 15-0 run when you all took the lead finally? Yeah, I mean, I just better defense led offense. We finally settled down and started to attack, and um, I feel like we would make a run, and I really thought we'd have a chance to finish it off. It's just, again, I just thought the first half uh, um, was poor, and that's what cost us the game. Thanks, Nico. And I, and I also want to say, you know, congratulations to Isaiah Stevens, you know, and I made a point in there. I mean, I, I, I just um, – it's hard because he'd give away all these – records to win all these games but you know to have a young man become the all-time assist leader out of school is, is pretty special and that's just a testament to who he is and what he's done over the course of his career and and uh, I, I'm really really proud of him thanks thanks